Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amartya Rupani and in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the latest apps that Canada has recently launched for those who are planning to travel to Canada. And guys, as of November 21st, it is going to be mandatory for you to provide your information uh, digitally through this app. So anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you this app and the step-by-step -step process to submit your information. So without wasting any time, let's start. Okay, so the name of this app is Arrive Can, and the purpose of introducing this is to stop the spread of COVID-19 by sharing traveler information quickly and securely. So anyways, this is the look of this app and once you download it, you accept the privacy agreement after reading it and then you create your account here by entering your email address and password. And as soon as you create your account, they will send you a, a code that you need to enter as I did. And then it will bring you at this page where uh, it is giving some introduction and the purpose of this app. So just read it and then click next. And guys, just so you know, you can also uh, sign in online from any device that you have. So anyways, once you uh, click next, it will bring you at this page where you need to enter your uh, travel information. And on the same page, they have provided some detailed uh, information regarding travel, such as uh, self-isolation or quarantine, travelers with um, no symptoms. So whatever applies to you, just go through this information. And um, as you can see, all the information is given in here. However, I'm also going to provide the link of this information in the description box below. You can check it out. And once you read this information, now it's time for you to enter your uh, travel information, such as how are you traveling by air or land or uh, sea. Let's say if you're entering to Canada uh, by air, then click uh, entry by air and then it will bring you this page where you need to answer the next question. Is your travel exempt? And over here you need to answer uh, no because uh, your exempt travel status will be assessed by the officer at border. So click no for this question and then it will bring you at this page where you need to answer the purpose of your travel question and uh, these are the choices you need to choose from such as if you're coming under family class uh, sponsorship or um, as a foreign worker or at a study permit. So these are the options that you choose from. So let's say you are coming through family uh, reunification and then you need to enter this information such as your airport where you will be landing to uh, let's say Toronto uh, Pearson and then your uh, flight number date of arrival uh, airline and then click this round uh, next button and then it will bring you at this page where you need to provide your uh, details such as your uh, document type and country of issue your document number your last name, your first name, and your date of birth. And that's all. And then click next. And there you go. This is how you submit uh, your information. And uh, you will receive a receipt that you need to show to the officer at uh, Canada border or the port of entry. And guys, as I mentioned earlier that as of November 21st, it is going to be mandatory for you to submit your uh, information digitally through this app and if you don't do it you might get a fine okay so that was pretty much it for today and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment box i would be more than happy to answer them as soon as possible and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there's a lot more coming up for you guys till then you take care and i'll see you again bye